Hey everybody, how you doing? Adam Van Fleet up here at Marine Max Danvers. Uh, today we're going to be walking through an awesome boat, brand new for 2024, the all new 360 Outridge by Boston Whaler. As we step outside this boat, I really want to emphasize uh, and just you know kind of shine a light on this hull color. Beautiful, you can kind of see as you look over this entire boat, just what a good kind of matching color comp, sharp color combination this is. You have the Abaco blue hull paint with a nice pearl in there. So when you're on the water, it gives it a really nice glimmer. You have a white rub rail all the way down with a nice stainless steel insert. You have stainless steel uh, fender holders and the chrome logo by Boston Whaler back here on the back. White bottom naturally with Whaler, uh, but a good, good looking boat in combination with the light blue underside of the hard top there. Beautiful, beautiful boat. So we're going to go through this boat, we're going to go through the inside, we're going to go through all the compartments, we're going to open some stuff up, but in just a second here, I want to show you uh, the all new 600 Verados that are on the back of this. Come on, let's take a look. All right, guys, so we're back here at these 600 Verados. V12 pure power here. Naturally aspirated, so you're not worrying about supercharger maintenance or anything like that. Uh, but look at the size of these engines. I'll be the first to admit, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but look at these things right you have almost seven feet almost eight feet there of engine size and i know you're sitting there say adam that thing is massive they're mounted really close but just this lower unit is going to be the one that moves so you still get the same capability out of it so just this silver part down here is what moves and you have these huge dual props on both lower unit that just give this boat so much power and so much capability and maneuverability in tight spaces and when you run it, beautiful, beautiful engines there with the white cowling. Let's jump up inside. I want to show you the rest of the boat. I'm really excited. I'll see you up there. All right, so we're just making our way into the cockpit of this boat. As I was walking over, I really wanted to show this area here. Just look at how much room you have back here when you're getting on and off the boat. Now, not to be confused, I said only those lower units move. These engines still come up and they come out of the water. So you're still tilting those up. It's just they're stationary the way they're facing forward and back there. But you have non-skid back here. Your, swim, your first swim ladder is here, I should say. Um, you have fill-ups and disconnects on that side. And then this side, this actually comes with uh, the engine flushing system. So uh, you can run that fresh water. You don't have to take it out of the boat and put the muffs on it. But you have the engine flush system there, which is really, really nice. Huge non-skid area here. Uh, convenience, little things. Your entry lights. Your switch is right here. So as you get onto your boat, before you get up there in the dark, you turn on all your lights for the boat so you have that little bit of light, which is really nice. Rod holders around the back, and then you have hoss pipes here for your lines and fenders to come right out the gunnels there. Uh, and just look at the size of this fishing area, right? You have a 55-gallon live well, clear top with a gas strut and a divider right down the middle, blue liner, air recirculating and everything there. Fresh and raw water wash down, as well as your live well controls, and the helm of this boat. This is just an awesome, awesome feature here. So the 36, you can do actually with a tower if you'd like. Uh, we don't do a ton of towers on them, but you'll notice you do have your ladder up to your skylight here, so you could add one to this if you'd like. And then you have right here at the bottom of the live well, the ladder there. This teak decking, cup holders throughout. So if you want this to be uh, either a bait station or you know you're doing coal cuts, you're out on the water hanging, you can put them there and everything on a nice teak platform there. Um, up top you have your sure shade, five rocket style rod holders there, and then just that huge superstructure giving you a ton of shade in that light blue is the hard the fiberglass hard top there. Floodlights are going to be uh, right here as well as ambient lighting over there as well. Again, whaler specialty guys. Look at how easy that is, all right? Throw a little grease on there, we'll get that sound out of there for you. But this one has uh, the teak accent package. So what you get out of that is that teak touch on a couple of the items throughout the boat. Uh, it just gives you a really nice setup on this aft facing seating here. Um, and again, that's the little stuff with Whaler. This is non-skid. So as you're going up, 
to the top of the hard top, it's all non-skid there. So if your feet are wet, if you know, uh, somehow that's wet, you're not going to worry about slipping around over there. Um, I'm going to let you come on over. We'll get a quick couple of shots in here, and then we'll work our way up to the helm. So now that you're on the boat itself, you're back here in the cockpit, I want to just show you a couple of these things here. Uh, that hose pipe with your cleat down below and your um, tow rail there, speaker on both sides with the JL audio, but that's your fresh and raw water hoses right here, So, or your hookups anyway. You put the hoses right onto them. So you have an actual hose that you can move around and maneuver on the boat. Uh, and then back here, you have actually a five gallon bucket or storage, depending on how you want to use it. But it's right there tucked away. So as you're chumming and stuff like that, it's right there at the ready. That is a back bench. And on the bottom side of that bench is your ladder that's going to come out. That's going to be, I say it's probably going to be your main access point, whether you're just getting on and off from the dock or you're swimming. But that comes over there on a pop hinge and that ladder hooks right up. So if you have kids, you know, when everybody's swimming, if you're at the sandbar and stuff like that, you go right off the side of the boat. You throw the cooler off the side, bring it to the beach. You get up and down off of that ladder instead of going out here by the engines. You know, it's just a little bit safer, which is really nice. All right, I'm gonna pop this back shut here. You have another fresh water wash down right here by your tuna door. All right, that one is built in and flush with the, with the uh, actual gunnel wall there. And then we move up to the helm. Guys, as I uncover this here, this is just the beauty. This is what dreams are made of right here, guys. Obviously, you do have proper storage for those screens, screen covers, whether it's in the glove box uh, or down below. <coughs> Twin jumbo sim rads here. MFDs, chart plotters, you have autopilot on there through the joysticking system. You have everything you could ever imagine. Engine management system is on here. Um, your uh, a mimic of all these push buttons is going to be right there through the C map. And then down here, you have a couple of hard buttons, which is still nice. You have your trim tabs, which are going to be hard buttons here. Your spotlight is right over here. And the best of all. So that's Mercury's joystick system, all right? That's what you've seen as JPO, joystick piloting, um, is going to be right through here. So with this control here, you can spin, you can push, you can actually move the boat without the use of a bow thruster completely sideways, right? So that's a huge, huge plus if you're stepping up into a bigger boat um, or if you just like the features and the ability to be able to move that, it's a really, really nice thing to have there. Integrated into that is a couple of different features too. So you have auto heading. So if it's you, maybe one or two other people that are trolling, uh, you can have auto heading and it'll take you in a complete direction. If you're coming out of the channel, stuff like that. Um, it's just a really, really nice feature to have. And then you have waypoint navigation, which will, just like it sounds, it'll take you through your set waypoints and it'll be able to allow you to navigate that way to a common track, sit back, relax, while still paying attention, but and then Skyhook. So Skyhook is, in layman's terms, that's going to be your digital anchor. So your digital anchor is going to keep you in a radius of 10 to 15 feet and your heading as well. So uh, that Skyhook, if you're putting lines out, if you know, you're sitting there watching the sunset, you're waiting at the gas dock, that Skyhook is the answer. Really, really nice feature there. You have the digital throttle and shift. Um, the newest generation with the screen on there to give you all your information. On the side of that is your active trim. You can do one lever if you'd like and all your infotainment system there. This right here, just an awesome, awesome setup. So you have a triple seating set up here. Flip up bolsters right here. As you can see, solid. They're not even broken in yet there. Uh, and then that captain's chair is actually adjustable too. So if you need to get closer, uh, you can do that there. Now, for us shorter guys, you have this. So this is going to give you, I'd say, probably about four inches of height here. And it's going to give you the ability to just get a nice, clear sight of view. You know, I can see when it's on the floor, but it's just nice to be up just a little bit further sometimes so that you can see right over the bow there when you need it. All right. Glove box acts as kind of a rear view mirror if you will. Uh, it's really a nice double play there. 
which is really nice. Let's uh, stop at the lower station here. Big heavy duty door is going to head down into your cabin area down here. Now, this in the 360 is really, really a step above, right? So you go down and you actually do have a sink, a vacuum flush head here. So you have a holding tank. Uh, and then if we just get a quick snap up here, you actually have a good size bed down here, guys. So, you know, I'd like to say if you get caught somewhere, but you might be doing overnights here just as your original plan. Tons of room down there. You want to get out, get to the fishing grounds, but you want to stop somewhere a little closer. Really, really nice option to get away. Put this back up. Heavy duty hardware here, guys. Really, really nice there. So we're up at the bow here. Uh, as you can see, you have a nice full glass windshield with a vent. It does have a wiper, of course. And you do have more speakers up the side here. Excuse me, up off the bottom of the hard top. You have a spotlight. You have your open array radar. Obviously, the open array isn't on there now, uh, but you do have that there. Uh, and then you have this awesome seating. So you have your center armrest with two cup holders and a USB charger. Big lounge pad here, and that's going to also double as locking storage. For your table is there. You can mount this up front or in the back. Uh, excuse me, this one's just going to be the front. Uh, but you do have a high-low setup there. So if you want to put a filler cushion, you do have the ability there. Five-gallon bucket storage. Right now we have the short power cables in there. And again, as everything with Whaler, you do have non-skid under all these cushions too. So when you guys are fishing, if you take the cushions off, you have all non-skid there, so you're still not worried about it. Huge fish box up here. Turn those around. You have a fish box with a macerator and um, you can fill this up with ice. It's insulated. Really nice feature there. Table drops in here. This piece can come out just as well. So you actually have two filler cushions. This one, ready for this? Backrests. How often do you have people fighting over this seat? You know, over the coffin box seat. You get that same thing mimicked right here. Really, really nice feature. Easy, ready to go. You wanna put it away, you press that forward, pops right down in there. You have storage under this entire side here. So, you know, if you have extra fenders and lines, you have extra equipment, everything you need, you can put on there. Up front, you have a big windlass. An awesome access right to everything if you need it. Tuck away cleats. Push those down. Again, you can just hear that heavy equipment being used there. Really nice. We'll shut that down, guys. This is a 360 Outrage. Unbelievable boat. Uh, really just an awesome, awesome color combination as far as the Abaco blue to the light blue, the tin uh, shore interior. Really, really nice boat. One of uh, my favorite boats that we have in stock. You have questions about this one, you wanna check it out and see how things work out. If you have a trade that you're looking to get rid of but not sure how to do it, um, just let us know. We can take your boat in on trade. Uh, we can list it for you while we build a boat. But this one right here is the creme de la creme, guys. This is the one. If you have questions about it, you wanna learn more about it, just give us a call. Again, my name is Adam over at Marine Max in Danvers. We're right off 128. Come down and check us out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.